How's it going, Mall TV? We're here stranded in the Smoky Mountains. We're about to walk up some trail that they have us walking through. We could die. Take it easy. Was a terrible. Okay. We are at Applewood Farmhouse Grill. And is it Gatlinburg or is it where are we? Somewhere in Tennessee. They've already served us with these wonderful fritters of some sort with this sauce and this beverage of some sort. Good so far. This is going the right way. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. <laughs> it's spicy and cheesy and bussin'. I'd give it an eight point five. I had chickens and dumpling. Chickens and dumpling, yes. With um what is this called? Uh, Alfredo. Very delicious, very good. I also put these fritters and that amazing sauce in here because I'm going to take it back to the cabin with me. All of that, 10 out of 10. A Pepsi. You can't say no to a Pepsi. 10 out of 10. These little balls, they look like hush puppies. Except you dip it in this applesauce stuff here. It's the bomb diggity. The food was wonderful. It was just too much. But I give it a 20 out of a 10. It was good. I had chicken and dumplings, and macaroni and cheese, and mashed potatoes, and the potato soup. And I give mine a nine and a half out of 10. It was very, very good. I had country fried steak. Mashed potatoes. And mashed potatoes. Macaroni and cheese. And macaroni and cheese. And potato soup. And potato soup. <laughs> and it was about an eight. I had some kind of bacon, chicken, broccoli casserole, and mashed potatoes, and I rate it five out of ten. It was okay. TV. We're here at the great David Crockett's establishment, We're about to eat some in insane <laughs> breakfast. It's gonna be an absolute lit day, first meal of the day. It's gonna be insane. CYC is gonna be insane. Take it easy. So we had the skillet 
with the sugar cured ham and we split it because it was enough food. Nine and a half out of ten and it was cheaper than IHOP. Uh, we are just like Michael David and Rena. We exactly. Exact milk. Exact uh, Except we didn't get coffee or orange juice. No coffee, no orange juice. Just but water. it was ten. Water was delicious. Delicious. Very good water here. I really like the water in Gatlinburg. Really good stuff. Scrumptious. <laughs> I had the old fashioned cinnamon candied apple waffle. It was delicious but very sweet. I will crash soon. Let's go with a 9.78. It was delicious. Okay, I had the scrambled egg, biscuit, bacon, and the fried potatoes, and it was very, very good. I would give it a 9. I had the sausage omelet and grits, and the omelet was good, but the grits were amazing. I give them a 10 out of 10. Uh, it wasn't as good as the other water. I'd give it a 7, seven out of 10. Um, I had the omelet. I wasn't impressed, but I did get a big, huge cinnamon roll. It's the bomb diggity. You have to give it a number out of 10. Bomb diggity's 20. Had a waffle and a ham. Awesome. 10 out of 10. I had fried bologna and the potatoes and scrambled eggs, and it was awesome. And I will give it a 10 out of 10. <coughs> Put it on. I got, what was it called? I, I can't remember. Yeah, I got country ham with scrambled eggs and toast and candied apples. I'm not a big breakfast fan. And I'm not a big fan of Davy Crockett's anyways. Like, I'm sorry, I'm offending like this entire table right here, but um, it's not my favorite. I thought the ham would taste better. It looks good, but it's like mm -hmm. four out of 10. Terrible. <laughs> 10 out of 10. So my apples are like really floppy, which is gross, disgusting. So I'm gonna have to give it a seven out of 10. I got the pancakes and they're really good, but there's a lot of them and they're really hard to eat. But I give it an eight out of 10. I got a bacon waffle and it was like 12 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It's been a ride. This meal has been an absolute roller coaster. Full of sweet and salty and I'm about to vomit. But overall, the meal was really good, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead. 9.035. Final answer. Out of 10. Take it easy. Let me introduce you to the mega biscuit. Sausage, egg, and cheese, wonderfulness. 10 out of 10. I got this omelet stuffed with bacon. And I put hot sauce on it and syrup and it was sweet, and it was spicy, and it was buzzing. Nine out of 10. I'm not ready yet. How's it going, Wall TV? We're here stranded in the Smoky Mountains. We're about to walk up some trail that they have us walking through. We could die. Take it easy. Survival 101, here we go. If you look this way, we have the natural pee pee spot. I saw the turkeys first. Taylor didn't see them Oh, good job. Got something for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's disgusting. This is a disaster. Uh-uh, uh-uh, it, no, it's crumbling. Come on, don't be dumb. Parkour! 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 I made it. No, I'm oh. gonna keep it forever. It's a rock. Flat rock. That reminds me of the flat earth theory, which is what we are experiencing I'm today. In this water, this water's like That's dumb. Don't put that in there. Watch out, dude. Oh. 
hate this place. So the lion fell in love with the lamb. What a stupid lamb. What a masochistic lion. You can just get a shot of them out here like this. Then video the tree. This, yes. And then put them on it. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? You better hold on tight, spider monkey. <laughs> I didn't mean to grab her face. <laughs> TV. We at the cabin, we just ate an exquisite hot dog meal. To be honest, I really wasn't that hungry, but I had to devour. So I ate me a hot dog with chili and cheese and a spicy mustard. You know, classic, you know, New York style. You know, we take it east down there. Uh, so overall, I give it a rating of a proper 8.5, you know. Not great. Not the worst hot dog. Take it easy. Hard to find. I think about it all the time. All the time. What's up guys? We're here at Mellow Mushroom and we're about to chow down on some epic pizza. <laughs> it's gonna be absolutely insane, man. Take it easy. <laughs> Classic, you know, she just spilled her drink. Classic mellow mushroom, man, you know, it's just the experience, you know. Food today is absolutely insane, man. Like, words, I don't know if they can describe it, man. Like, right on. I give it like a 9.4 out of 10, you know. Take it east, guys. <laughs> it took way too long to get here. 56 out of 79. I'm gonna have a huge dump later. No. But otherwise, no. it was good. She will go way over there. If I have stuff on my face, it means it's good. I had the funky Q chicken. So good. I'm gonna. I'm still eating it. Last piece. I'm giving it a 9.75 out of 10. I had the pepperoni pizza. It was good. I give it a 9 out of 10. Hi, I shared with Riley, and um, I think I'm lactose intolerant, so my stomach might hurt later. But it was good, so 9.5 out of 10. 10. So I spilled my drink, and it it loaded all of the pan, so that was a 10. But the food was a 7 because I I I'm not a pizza person. It was really good. I just didn't finish it, so 9 out of 10.
I give it a Can nine. I say something? Okay, okay, give me this. Take your plate off. You see, you see this pan right here? An entire pizza was on it. All in his stomach right now. A 9.5 out of 10. So we, we have this six piece pepperoni pizza here. It, I usually can eat three or four, but I, I only ate one and a half and I'm full. Uh, eight out of 10, bussin', bussin'. Busting 10 out of 10. Pepperoni pizza. I don't know what this is, but it's delicious. It was fantastic, 10 out of 10. Ethan, I've got something else. The vibes are what I'm here for. Feeling it. Ten. 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 Now I'm in a different mood this time. <laughs> Nine point seven. Sweet tea lacking. Lit. Pizza was great. Man. Veg out pizza. Ten out of ten. Very good. The shrooms were amazing. Uh, barbecue chicken and bacon, something really good, but it's so sweet that it's almost overkill. I'll give it high art squared out of 10. Well, cameras, no paparazzi, no paparazzi. No, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. I shouldn't have ate that whole calzone. I'm telling you. <gasps> we may die. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> How's it going, Mall TV? Riding the Jurassic boat ride here in Pigeon Forge. This ride has sudden drops and stops. We may die. This is a lizard. Lizard! Oh, I love you, baby. Oh. <laughs> time to the age of dinosaurs. <laughs> This is scarier now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know how, but we did. The dinosaurs nearly killed us. But we're too good for them, you know? Take it east. Take it east! <laughs> I'll say something buzz light eerie. To infinity and beyond! <laughs> Her nose is like slamming. Yeah. Like, tur turn to the side. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I need to buy any more food. I just need this. Rest in peace. How's it going, Mall TV? We are at the cabin eating McDonald's cheeseburgers. What can I say wrong about it? A McDonald's cheeseburger. I mean, the great, you know. The rating, see, it's not done yet. Um, I give it a proper 8.03. Proper, though. Properly. <laughs> Three out of ten. Eight point two out of ten. Bold. It's a classic. It's a classic. It's a classic. Surprise, but I'm gonna give it a six. Two out of ten. They forgot my pickles. <laughs> oh. McDonald's cheeseburger. Play. Ten out of ten. They, hey, they're even better than the McDonald's back at home because they took the time to write plain on every plain cheeseburger we had. The sausage part does not matter. It is plain. They did a good job. So much better than home. It's McDonald's. Three out of ten. You're crazy. What? <laughs> um... I'm it's a normal say, cheeseburger. It's McDonald's. Oh, oh. It's McDonald's. I'm gonna say what he said. I'm gonna give it a seven, though. It's but it's still not the best at all. I'll give it an eight. I'll give it a five because hamburgers are hamburgers. Like they said, it's McDonald's, so I give it a six out of ten. You can top a McDonald's cheeseburger. The pinnacle. The pinnacle. Of fast of food in in general of all foods. Yes, with a Coca Cola. 
I'm in agreement. A Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Coca Cola in the can. A cheese burger in your mouth. Girl, pass Taylor me Taylor obviously one. doesn't know what he's talking about because it's. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Nice cat. Yeah. Nice cat. Eight. I hate McDonald's, but this is great. I give it an eight. Blasphemy! Blasphemy! An eight. <sighs> I don't know. For McDonald's, it's probably about a seven. I don't like McDonald's. I think I need to explain my three out of ten, okay? I'm getting too much trash from this end of the table. <laughs> I agree that the Quarter Pounder and Big Mac is better. Oh, yeah, Quarter Pounder. What? Yeah, that's There's actually the nothing wrong with Burger this. from McDonald's is arguably the worst thing on the menu. The bread to meat ratio is so skewed. It's terrible, okay? Okay. Even a Big Mac, the meat to bun ratio is skewed, but at least there's two patties and enough Mac sauce, okay? Double quarter pounder, Big Mac, chicken nuggets, filet of fish everything on the menu at McDonald's is better than their plain cheeseburger or their normal cheeseburger. Objection! Objection! I actually lied while ago because I have to agree with you. Uh-uh. Well, listen. If you go back to the original Mickey D's, you know what they sold? Cheeseburgers! Oh, everything goes I'm not done yet. Leave me alone. What we were talking about is commitment. Commitment. I could see it on your face while we're all sitting here in this room and I'm talking about that. And I can see that the wheels turning. And I like that this whole night, all of us are all laughing and joking and goofing off. And you're sitting here serious as a heart attack. Um, that tells me something. You realize what you're about to get into. It is a serious thing. It's a fun thing. And we're going to laugh and have, have good times and all that stuff th for the rest of your life. But this is not a decision that you take lightly. And so I'm so glad that you're serious about this. So I'm going to ask you the awesome question. Anna Jane, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> In the quiet way. Uh, well, on this confession that you have just made. I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit for the forgiveness of your sins. TV. We're here at the end of the road. It's a sad day. CYC is over. But that's all right. It's about how you bounce back from yeah, spiritual highs like this. All I have to say is, take it easy. Wow. Oh <laughs> no!